if you want to use the Google Merchant Center for your business and you don't know how to get started, you are in the right place. I'm going to be showing you how we can start here. And the very first thing that I want to do, guys, is to sign into my actual website in order to continue. So I do have here my actual uh, Google. So I'm typed it here into the uh, Google Merchant Center section. I want to go into the get started. And of course, you want to have your account already been created. Now, it's going to be having a few questions. You don't have to worry about that. This is just for helping you to improve and to give you all the tools that you need to get started. Depending on if you are a professional or if you're just getting started, you're a beginner, that's totally up to you. Uh, that's totally up to you guys. So here it says, tell Google about your business. Do you sell your products online? Let's say yes. Do you have a brick and mortar store? So if you don't know what this actually this means, you want to go into no and your store website, I'm going to type for my, my own, which is actually this one. And I'm going to type continue. Now, show your products on Google for free. So what does this mean? I don't know, guys, if you have searched for a specific item, for example, like, uh, I don't know, maybe some uh, grit uh, for sale. And here, as you can see, is the Google Merchant Tool. So instead of just looking like this, you are seeing the very first page the ads of your products of the products that you are looking for and those appears in here and your product can be in here of course so how can we do this this is how this is why we want to use the merchant center of google so we're going to close this i'm going to type here so where your products will be shown as you can see this is what google is going to be offer us we do have our own online store we do have products not services we need to sell products, of course. And after that, you want to go into the create a Google Merchant Center account. So here's going to be asking you for a business information. So here, just type into your business info and the registered country. You want to go into the continue to the Merchant Center. And just like that, we are now inside the sign it up competition. So it says, let's finish the remaining steps to get your fully set up and running. So type into continue. And we do have now the free listing setup that appears down in here. So after I added my information about my website, here it says verify your website. So what you want to do is to add this HTML tag into your website. So what I want to do is to go into upload an HTML file, click the link to download this file, upload the HTML file to this um, section and click the link to confirm to the upload. So what I want to do is to just type to this actual link. I'm going to go into download and hit into save. Here it says upload this file to this actual website. So I'm going to go into the create a new app. And then here and we're actually good to go. We're actually like ready to get started here. So as you can see, this is my website that was created uh, a few seconds ago. So uh, after you make the verification of your account of your website, it's going to be telling you to set up a shipping method. You want to choose the country, you want to choose the currency, you want to get into the next, of course. Um, you want to add the products. So this is totally depending on your delivery times and all that. If you want to skip this and you want to do this later, you can do that. But this is just an example of what you can do. You have to add your products, of course. This is really, really important. You can add one product at a time and add multiple products at once. This totally depends on you. Or you can just import your products from your website and add that. Because it's going to be just really, really simple if you want to just import that. And you can have the tab that says, uh, view this item into the into the into the into your own website so I, I think it's going to be really really helpful for that after that you have to view the google policies you want to enable all of that and after that you want to go into the start of the final review and the final review is going to be asking us for uh taking a look into all the steps in order to get started and go into the overview section so what i want to do now is to go into add some products or go into the setup some shipping closed and here I have the shipping services email. So uh, instead of choosing this actual website, I think we'll go for something else. You add it, if you use this information, go into the continuum. And here into the web address, if you're not sure what to use, you can use this option. Here are some other methods. So verify my website. 
and set up a shipping method. All right. So once you get started here into the Google Message Center after you verify and claim to your store website, it's going to appear here all your listing and it's going to be appearing here into active. So uh, I, of course, I don't have this improvement here because I need to finish here to improve my my website. Um, so lastly, I just want to go into the X mark and go into my products. Here into products, you're going to see the diagnostic of all my products. I can see the research of how many disapproved items, depending on expiring active items have in here uh, through different days. In my case, I do have 30 days to today. You can change the two days today. You can change that for seven days today. And you can go into the feed issues, account issues. I'm going to go only into claim website. This is only depending on you. And then what we have here is the performance of how our work, our products have been doing so far. Speaking about the research of Google, uh, the all traffic, the free listing, the traffic of promotion, sales and price top branches. So uh, we do have different reports. We do have competitive visibility. And lastly, we have the growth section. There's uh, like a few sections, a few recommendations that the application have been helping us to improve a little bit more our actual store, our products to make like more uh, visibility here. So if I go into the manage programs that appears into this site, this is a specific place where I can uh, take a look into how this one works. If I want to go to make some ads, uh, if I want to make some free product listing, dynamic remarketing, local inventory ads, free local product listing. So if I go into get started, it's going to be asking me what is the country to sell into. In my case, I want to scroll a little bit down, choose Mexico, okay, to continue. So uh, you want to just check it out that you are able to do this into your country in order to to sign it up. And here we have business information and accounts. We do have the business information, ad information, business profiles, the branding. Uh, which is a country. This one has to be active, of course. Do you want to go into the contact name, the shipping codes? Do you want to request the verification of the inventory? And then you want to go into safe. So those are the tools that can be helping you to start here into the Google Merchant Center. And in order to get started, I can strongly suggest you to first of all verify uh, your actual uh, website to get the this trusted store batch that you can have here after you have verified and claimed your website appears into this site. So go into the continue and do the steps that actual Google has to offer to you. You have to pay absolutely for anything. So which which is, I think it's an amazing place to start working. And you do have the free local listing of more than, I believe only one or two items at a time, but I think it's gonna be really, really helpful for us to get started here into the merchant center of Google. So with that being said, guys, we will be reaching to the very end of the video. As you can see, this is just like a basic way of how we can get started here. Um, just uh, take a look into the Google Merchant Center, verify your website and start uploading your files, the listing and do some marketing research. You can create some ads and you can have more profitable stops uh, speaking about sales and all that. So thank you once again for watching the video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, have lots of fun. Best of you. Best of luck with you guys. And I'll see you in the next video.